I'm Camden. I live in Brindleton Bay and come from a religious family. We weren't a hardcore religious family that only listened to gospel songs or anything, but we went to church every Sunday and Wednesday, prayed, and lived a normal life. I made friends through church and various church functions, but there was no one who was and still is my very best friend. Her name is Reagan. We've been friends since our diaper days. Our parents met at church and our mothers were pregnant at the same time with us. We were born a few days apart and we've been inseparable ever since. During the school week, we always helped each other with our assignments. When we would get home, we would both get online at the same time and talk about the day. We would always hang out at the park on the weekends. We were just kids doing normal kid things. Her parents were a lot stricter there and more religious than mine though. She could only listen to certain songs and watch certain TV shows and movies. They didn't allow her to have many friends unless they were considered good. I, on the other hand, was an exception. They always made sure to let her know how they were against her having homosexual friends. Unfortunately, that was the biggest problem. When we were about 12 years old, we would go to my room to play. I have different pictures of my family in my room. I have one picture of my older sister that I would catch Reagan staring at from time to time. She in her own little world. Sometimes, she would even forget we were playing. I didn't think much at the time until I started noticing Reagan flirting with other girls. She was developing a tomboy personality. She was just a little masculine wearing baggy clothes, beanies, and tennis shoes. She always wanted to hang out with me and my guy friends now more than ever. On top of that, the more I noticed these things, the more I began to realize that she may be a lesbian. I didn't know how to talk to her about it or bring it up in casual conversation. One day they caught Reagan in the mirror showcasing some of the new boy clothes she had gotten from the mall while we were out shopping. When her parents started realizing what was going on, they were not having it. The next day at school, Reagan showed up school wearing an arm bandage and feminine clothing. I asked her what happened and she explained her mother grabbed her arm so hard that it left a bruise. I also explained that her mother demanded her to take the clothes back to the store immediately after the school day. Things only got worse as the years in high school went by. We were 17 now. One day we were in her room chatting when her parents stormed in. Her mom's face was filled with anger and her dad had his phone in his hand. I looked up and saw what made him so angry. On her father's phone was a picture of Reagan and another girl cuddling in bed. I saw worry and fear written all over Reagan's face. Reagan tried to convince him that it wasn't gay to cuddle and she was only a friend. I knew I had to do something immediately before the situation escalated any further. What came out of my mouth next shocked me, Reagan, and her parents. I said, she's not a lesbian, she's my girlfriend. Reagan's mother then said angrily, well if she is, then prove it. I paused, took a deep breath, and then kissed her. The kiss lasted five seconds. I thought Reagan would be upset at me and push me away, but she didn't. Reagan was happy that I had done that. Her parents were exiting the room after the kiss. As soon as they left, she hugged and thanked me. She started to cry because she didn't know what would happen if her parents ever found out the truth. Reagan told me if her parents ever found out that they would probably never speak to her, or worse, kick her out of the house. Over the next few days, I couldn't help but replay those words Reagan told me about what her parents might do if they ever found out the truth. I understand their relief, but I just knew they would accept Reagan for who she is over time and still love her. I had to speak with her, but not at her house. I asked her to meet me at the dog park so we could talk. Once we were there, she said she had always known and didn't know how to tell me. Reagan then began to pour her heart out while crying in the process, and I sat and listened. The conversation went from dark and gloomy to a conversation about feelings that should have happened many years ago. I wish it had. I could see the way that she had been carrying on her years being lifted. All Reagan needed was someone to talk to about her feelings. After that conversation in the park that day, Reagan knew things wouldn't be so bad in the near future. It's been years now since Reagan has come out to her friends and family. Reagan's parents, especially her mother, didn't like her choice at first. But they've accepted her for who she is. They still love her and that's what matters. Reagan's friends fully support her decision and stand by her when she feels that she can't turn to her parents for advice. As for me, I'm glad I was there for my best friend when she needed it the most. I look forward to many years of friendship.